Hello, Davina here. Welcome back. How you doing? You know what? I spent some coins on all of this modern master's paint. And we're going to use it tonight in this four chamber split cup. I'm taking a break from the cloud. I need a break from the cloud. The cloud, the pearls, was giving me a headache. So we're going to work with some colors and brighten my soul and yours too. So I'm going to layer my cup. Got my canvas covered. It is 14 by 14. I have it on my spinner. So we are, we are just completely different tonight. Completely left field. So let's get this pour started. I'm going to pan the camera down, show you how I am layering, yes, layering my paints in this four chamber split cup. You ready? Let's go. Okay. Look at all those pretty colors waiting for us to play with. Let me show you. Let's see right there. All right, so let me show you the consistency. We are working with some thick paint tonight. We have Burnt Orange Modern Masters. It is leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. I miss saying that. Yes, we got some mounds tonight. See that? Our next color is ooh sachet red work it girl sachet look at that pretty color yes got a mound on a mound on a mound all right mm, amethyst yes lord love me some purple isn't that pretty? These are all Modern Masters paints. Bam! Green apple. Right in your face. Look at that. Oh, yes. And this is Glacia. Glacia Blue. I don't know what this got to do with glaciers, but that's what it's called. Okay. And we got a little white. A little pearl white. And a little black. It's actually a black pearl. Okay. Everything is thick. Everything is leaving a mound. So. In our first chamber, we are going to put a little bit of black. Yes, a little bit of black. Then we're going to go with a little bit of orange. 
Don't be in my comment section talking about you can't put black with orange. This is my pain. This is my poor. If it don't work out, it don't work out. I don't even care. I'm just happy to be working with some colors. Okay, that was uh, the pearl white. We're going to go back to the orange. And then some black. Another little pearl white. Orange. And a little bit of black. Next, we're going to do our violet. I'm sorry, amethyst. Amethyst. Sorry, folks. My camera stopped after the first chamber, but I'm going to tell you what I did. In the second chamber, I put the um, amethyst and the red. In the fourth, the third chamber, I did blue, green, green apple, the glacier blue, the green apple. Gracia blue, green apple. Fourth chamber is white, orange, black, orange, white. Now I was also saying um, I was I'm inspired to do this pour by Miss Chris Jesnick and Fiona. Now, Chris does awesome ribbon pours. And I've been wanting to do one for months, but I got hung up with the pearl. And Fiona does the most beautiful split cup pours. So I'm combining my two ladies. Hopefully, we're going to do the split cup on the canvas and then we're going to do some Chris Jesnick's ribbons. If the pattern is really, really pretty, I'm not going to touch it. So my cup is full, canvas is prepped. Let's go down and see what's going on. Okay, so let me tell you that my paints were mixed with three ounces of Floetrol, one ounce of paint, stirred it up, and then I did a squirt of, I have a 50-50 Floetrol and glue mixture. So I just squirted that in, stirred it up, and have a nice, thick consistency. Now, when Chris does her pours, she does a straight pour with a little reaction going. Um, Fiona does a straight pour, and then she kind of turns it, as she's pouring so we're going to try that and like I said I think I may have too much paint but um, we're going to cross our fingers and see what happens um, here we go And I'm just going to turn, I'm keeping my, my hands straight, and I'm just turning slowly as I pour out the paint.
Now I'm going to just go straight down and then turn this way a little. Now I'm going to go back the other way. I'm getting off centered a little bit. I'm going to try to get back to the center. I'm still turning slowly. And I have a, a um, an even stream coming out. Okay, I'm still turning. Okay, I think I'm going to stop in a minute, a second. Let's see if I can slow up my stream a little. Okay. Yes, I'm off-centered, but that's okay. Let's torch this a little. And now we're going to, let me see if I can recenter it. bit yeah that's more than enough paint okay now we're gonna spit just a little bit because I don't have a barrier and uh, I don't want to paint on, going all over the walls. Let me protect myself here a little bit. Just enough for it to go off the edges. Okay, let's go back the this way. It was not looking like a Fiona um pour, but we're not done yet.
and I don't have it really secure, so I don't want it to go flying across the room. I think I'm going to just lift it and tilt. And I'm going to recenter it. Come back this way. I'm gonna come back this way so we can have some clean edges. It's a lot of paint on this board. All right, that is nothing like I was hoping for. But that's okay. Now we're going to ribbon it like Chris. And hopefully that'll add some dimension to it. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. You know what? I like it just like that. Yes, I do. Let's turn it this way. Now, let me look at it, make sure I like it this way. not sure about this area right here you know what I mean hmm but this little line is so pretty I don't want to mess it up you know it's always one spot no matter what I do You know what, we're gonna leave it. 
We're going to leave it just the way it is. I like it. I hope you like it. I'm done. Finito. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me. This is the Chris Fiona Pour. Because I combined my two ladies. And I think I did something nice. <laughs> okay. Again, I know I, I I'm I got some issues. That's why I paint. But don't we all stay safe? Be blessed. See you next board.